Hello everyone. So in this video, we are going to learn how we can load the Kali Linux image in the EVENG. Because already you know we are starting the CCNA live batch. In that one, we are going to do the lab for the DSCP attack. We are going to do the DSCP attack with the help of Kali Linux. And we are going to configure the DSCP snooping and we are going to stop the attack. So for that purpose, we, we need the Kali Linux. So what we will do, we will install the Kali Linux in the EVENG. Okay, we are going to install the Kali Linux in the EVENG. We are going to see that one after some time. Okay, so let me do that one. I will do and I will show you that one. Okay, so if you see here, what we need to do, we need to have the Kali Linux image which is working in the EVENG. So if you see, I already have this one. Uh, let me show you this is an image I have if you can see this is a Linux any name you can give I give 2022.1 or any number let me change here like I can give Kali Linux okay Linux folder name should be Linux then you can give anything I will I can give Kali okay anything we can give if you go to the EVNG website you can type in the Google EVNG permission command we need and also we need the naming so I can write here EVENG naming also I need these two things so permission command we can check here permission okay so this one is a permission command so whenever we add any image or remove any image we need to put this command there this one is known as permission command and here is the naming if you see here if you want to install anything in the what we can say in the EVENG you need to follow the namings here if you can see here the first one is a folder name this one is a kimu folder name eve and this one is a vendor so vendor no issue this should be the folder name whatever the name you are getting here that is a folder name of the eveng and here if you see this is a image name so now we need to look for the linux if you see linux folder name should be linux dash anything you can put any anything here Linux that uh, dash anything for any Linux image should be this name okay so if you see here I have here already just now where we check here this one is the folder name I write Linux dash Kali you can write anything as here they mention Linux dash anything we can put any number if you want to put number and image name should be this one so if you see image name I give that one dot Q cow 2 okay dot q cow 2 should be the extension of the image this one is going to take 14.9 gb okay so this folder we need to move where you need to move you need to move in the eveng so i open the eveng and this is my eveng ip ip i can go here in the browser i can type that ip so i can log into the eveng and the username is admin password is eve i log in already here if I click here in the node and you can see here Linux I don't have if I check here I have other Linux okay I don't have that Linux Kali Linux I don't have if you refresh and if you check here I don't have the Kali Linux I have only this Linux only Kali I don't have so what I need to do I need to move there so what I will do I will use the WinSCP okay and here you will get the root is a username and the password is eve then you need to click login and the ip you need to put whatever ip you have let me show you again see here i am disconnecting this is the ip you need to put and this is the username root and the password is eve this information you need to put in the WinSCP. if you see this is a WinSCP. whatever ip you are getting here in the eve ng put this here and the password root is a username password is eve and click login so you will be login to the eveng and you need to move here opt unit lab add-ons kimu here you need to move after that you need to put that folder here if you see i have here linux kali okay i will move this one and here i have another one let me delete this one is also one linux flavor i remove that one now I have this Kali Linux so I will just drag and drop here like this you need to drag and drop here I selected desktop you can select which place from which place you want to drag 
so just drag and drop here so it will load here once this one is completed you can put the permission command but it will take long time because this is a 14.5 gb so i will pause the video because it is going to take 2 or 3 minutes or 4 minutes to move this image so i will pause the video once it is completed we will continue the video okay so video will not be lengthy if you see it is going to finish now okay uh, 13.4 gb is already loaded in the evng hard disk you need to wait for some time it will be finish because we are going to do some laps in the ccna we need to create some attack in the switch and uh, we need to stop that one so for that purpose we need the kali linux so i am installing the kali linux here if you see we have already here and if you are confused how i go here this one means you, i will show you i will go back if you see when you log in you will get like this you need to click add ons and then after that you can click the kimio okay or if you are confused let me go out out you will have like this or if you want i will go lot of out okay here if you see you will have like this then you need to go opt after that unit lab add ons and kimio okay here you need to load the kimio images means linux and the palalto whatever the other windows server this one and this is known as the juniper switch and router so you need to load like this once you load here you need to log in here username is root and password is eve so you log in already and you need the permission command here is the permission command just you will copy this permission command and go here click in this screen and go edit and paste here and just press enter okay you need to press enter and wait for few minutes it will be executed and meanwhile you can go here and here you can refresh this and right click and click the node and you can see here you will get the linux somewhere written here this one click and click here you will have the linux kali select that one okay keep all the thing default and just save you will have the linux just right click and start so this will start you can see linux is started and you can see the color also here color is changed and meanwhile if you see here it is executed or it is still loading so we will see anyhow this will be taking some time for this permission command now it is executed if you see it is executed the permission command and this one is power on just double click and open this one so you can see here this is a kali linux okay username is kali and the password is also k a l i kali and press enter you can log into the kali linux you can see here now where i am i am inside the kali linux so here we are going to use the different tool here you have here different tool if you can see like if you want to create the dscp attack here and if you want to send the ping attack if you want to send the udp attack we can do all the attacks from here okay we can do lot of thing from here and uh, we are going to configure the security in the switch so this attack will come so switch is going to block this attack okay cisco switch so we are going to see that one like in our ccna we have the r poisoning attack so how we can secure the switch we are going to configure the port as a trusted so for that purpose we need to create the attack so we are going to create the attack with the kali linux and we are going to configure the this uh, dscp snooping so with that one we can stop this attack guy okay so later i hope you are joining the ccna live batch join that one so you can learn how to do the attack and how can, how we can secure that uh, network with this types of attack okay and let me power off this device so i will power off i will shut down the kali so i hope you learn how to install the kali in the eveng okay and if you need this image you can like our facebook page and comment there we will share or you can also join our telegram channel and look we are sharing the image there also thank you